Hey, hello everyone. Uh, today um, I'm talking to you about acids, bases, and the pH scale. Um, so just to, to start off, uh, an acid, an acid uh, is going to be a solution with great concentration of hydronium ions, H2O plus or H plus. So we can call it those two different ways, uh, and it will turn indicators red. Uh, base is a solution with great concentration of hydroxide ions, OH negative, uh, but low concentration of hydronium ions. Uh, once again, the hydronium ions, they're, they're the acids. Uh, hydroxide ions, they're uh, related to the bases. And uh, bases will turn indicators blue. Okay, an indicator, all an indicator is, is a little piece of paper. Uh, so... Let me show you this with FET. Um, let me restart this. Uh, so this is pH paper, actually. Uh, this is simulation. Uh, and whenever we have an acid, uh, like a strong acid, uh, and we dip this pH paper, and you can see that it turns red. Um, and uh, this is for strong acids. If we go back to the definition, we said that an acid uh, has a great concentration of hydronium ions, the red ions, the ones uh, that you can see right here, H2O plus. So that is going to be an, an acid. And a base is going to have great concentration of hydroxide ions, OH negative. Uh, you can see the ions in blue. And then whenever we dip the, the indicator into the water, we can see that it turns blue. Okay. So that is what is an acid, what is a base in a shorthand. Let's go back over here. Uh, strong versus weak acids. Um, the strong acids, they're going to have a pH of 0 to around 3. And weak Weak acids are going to have a pH of around 4 to 7. Okay, so let's go back to the simulation. Uh, so if we pick a strong acid, we can see that whenever we dip the indicator, it gives us a pH of around 2. Okay, uh, so strong acids, they're going to be in this side of the pH scale. Uh, weak acids... So if we pick a weak acid, we can see that the pH is around 4, around 4, 5, um, so 4, 5, 6, uh, close to 7, that's going to be a weak acid. And then a strong bases, they're going to have a pH of around, if we dip the indicator, we can see that it's around 12. So uh, strong bases are going to be 12, 13, 14. And a weak base is going to be around. We can see that it's around here. The pH is around here. This area, so 11, 10, 9, uh, even 8 is going to be considered a weak base. Okay. Uh, I hope that this animation is helping you see things clearly. Uh, if we go back to the notes, uh, so what makes an acid or a base strong or weak? Uh, this is going to be the amount of ions that are dissociated or dissolved uh, in the solution. That's what's going to determine the strength of, a, of an acid or a base. Uh, the amount of ions that are dissolved, fully dissolved in, um, in the solution. So let's go back to the animation. And I want you to uh, see this underneath. We have a chemical reaction, okay? Um, and whenever we, uh, right now we're set at a weak base, we have uh, our reactants and we have products. So as you can see, whenever the reaction happens, we still have some of the reactants. So we still have uh, some of these uh, gray molecules meaning that the base doesn't fully dissolve or dissociate in water. Um, if we pick a strong base, we can see that 
all the reactants are dissolved all all the reactants are dissolved and uh, they completely um, dissociate in, in water creating the, the these two ions okay and if we look at a weak acid we can see that it, the case is the same um, the reactants do not completely uh, react they don't dissolve completely they don't produce as many hydroxide ions the red ions and, an, and in a strong acid the reactants do fully react and they dissociate they dissolve okay so that is going to be the difference between a weak uh, a weak solution and a strong solution a weak solution will only partially dissolve or dissociate in water and um, a strong solution is going to completely uh, dissolve in water okay all right and lately what is pH uh, pH is a scale is measured to is used to measure the hydronium ion concentration or the strength uh, of the solution okay uh, in here I'm telling you great amounts of hydronium ion they yield low pHs and low amounts of hydronium ion they yield a high pH uh, so this is what we're saying that whenever the concentration of hydronium ion or H plus remember it can be H plus or H 3 O plus both of these work I prefer to use H plus because there's less writing in it uh, <laughs> So whenever the concentration of hydronium ion increases, the pH actually is going to decrease. And whenever the hydronium ion concentration decreases, the pH is actually going to increase and uh, really uh, the reason why that is is because pH is a function uh, P actually stands for uh, log negative log okay so whenever you say pH you're saying this you're saying negative log of the concentration of hydronium ion and if we look in this function i put you a picture of what the function of negative log looks like we can see well in here uh, we're not saying x we're saying h right so hydronium ion as the hydronium ion uh, concentration increases that is the H remember this is not X anymore now we're calling it H because um, this is the hydronium ion as that increases the value of pH actually is decreasing okay remember you're following it's like you're following uh, this line it goes in this direction so we can say that uh, as H gets bigger, uh, pH is going to get uh, lower. And then as hydronium ion uh, decreases, the pH, if we follow now the line but we follow it back, the pH is actually going to increase okay so that leaves us with this on the pH scale we're saying that whenever the hydronium ion uh, is increasing the pH lowers so strong acids are gonna be on this side of the scale by the way I did not say this but the scale goes uh, from 0 to 14 okay so um, and uh, I did give you the numbers. I didn't tell you that it was 0 to 14, but 
and here I'm telling you strong acids have a pH of 0 to around 3 and weak acids have a pH of 4 to 7. A strong bases have a pH of around 12 to 14 and weak bases have a pH that should be capital H uh, of around 11 to 7. Uh, so and that is the reason why again that is because pH is a function of a negative log. So in the scale, your scale is going to look like this. Acids are going to be on this side of the scale and strong bases are going to be on this side of the scale. Uh, weak acids are going to be once again around from 4 to 7. So if this is 4, 4 to 7, that's going to be a weak acid. And then we're saying that bases, we're saying that a weak base have a, has a pH of around 11 to 7. So from 11 to 7, we find weak bases. All right. Um, so I just want to show you this. Lastly, I just want to show you a fit different substances um, if it works anytime now it might not work and I'm gonna have to probably do this in a different video oh there it goes Come on. Yeah, I might have to do this in a different video and hopefully it's not too laggy. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, so pH, so different solutions like this, uh, and I'm gonna give you the link to this, uh, to these applications. We can measure the pH, like for example, drain cleaner. Yeah, this is a pH meter. If we put the pH meter into the water, it gives us pHs at 13. So a drain cleaner will be considered a strong base. That's, that's why we use it to clean. Um, hand soap is going to be around 10, pH of 10. And we also use it to clean. We, lately, we use it to clean our hands like crazy, you know, with the virus. And it's a weak base. It's not harmful to our skin. Now, if you, if you get soap in your eyes, uh, on your eyes, you, you feel them, it starts burning. That is because it, it is a base and it does react with your eyes. Uh, blood, blood has a pH of around 7.4 Um So it's uh, fairly uh, almost neutral, but still uh, slightly basic. It's a basic solution. A spit saliva has around the same pH and that is because your body tries to maintain a, a pH uh, even throughout your body that's, that's the function uh, water water is actually neutral water is not considered an acid or a base uh, because it's right in the middle so water is neutral uh, milk has a pH of 6.50 so it's actually acidic and you guys can go through this. You can, uh, you can look at them. Battery acid. This is uh, usually like sulfuric acid in, in batteries. 1.00. You know that if you get batteries close to your clothes, they ruin them. And that is because they have uh, acids. It reacts. It uh, reacts with your clothes. Okay. So once again, um, pH measures the strength of a solution whether it will be basic or acidic and is based on the amount of um, hydronium ions okay and that is all i have to say y'all have a good one